why have you decided to speak out against it and give evidence against people who used to be your colleagues? Because, you know, uh, as a citizen, one is expected and has a duty to report unlawful activity. 2016 was, you know, where I started looking at what this company was actually doing in the United States and, you know, coming to appreciate that the projects that I was working on may have had a much wider impact than I initially anticipated it, it would. For you, Donald Trump's election sort of crossed a line. You felt that techniques that you were aware of um, had been used, shouldn't have been used in the way that we used during the, during, the, during the campaign. And I wouldn't say it's just because of Donald Trump, but Donald Trump kind of makes it click in your head that this actually has a much wider impact. Um, I don't think that um, military-style information operations is conducive for any democratic process, whether it's a U.S. presidential or a local council race. You're rather aghast that uh, uh, techniques uh, in the social uh, <coughs> media world that have been used for military uh, psyops purposes uh, have, are being used in, in the political domain. They, they don't care whether or not what they do is legal as long as it gets the job done. So. It's not, it's not, there's been a lot of focus on the data side of things and there's been a lot of focus on, um, on targeting, but more broadly this is a, this is a company that goes around um, the world and undermines civic institutions of, you know, countries that are struggling to develop those institutions. They are, uh, you know, an example of what modern day colonialism looks like. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.